今日はまた友達を連れて食べたいと思います。Thank you so much for coming.、Mm-hmm. I heard you are vegetarian. I am. It's a little bit tricky in Japan. <laughs> but、yes. We found a very, very nice restaurant、yes. where they are specialized in tofu.、Mm-hmm. So today we're going to try a lot of tofu dishes and see how foreigners like tofu. So, Agus,、mm-hmm. tell me a little bit about yourself and why you are here in Japan. Okay, I am originally from Argentina, but a few years ago I decided to take、uh, three sabbatical months. I was in South Africa volunteering as an English teacher. Originally, the idea was three months, but then it ended up being two years volunteering around the world. Wow, <laughs>、yes. cool. And when I was ready to go back home, I had this opportunity to come to Japan to. Actually, have a teaching job, and I had never been in Asia before, so I thought, oh, yeah, this is a really good opportunity. And I came here and I just loved it, and then I didn't want to leave anymore. Wow, how <laughs> long ago was that?、Uh, I came here five years ago, but during the pandemic, I went back to my country、mm-hmm. and I came back. Six months ago. But since you left and you came back, it's safe to say that you really like Japan. Oh, yes. In Nagoya, <laughs> particularly. Oh, really? Yes. I've traveled a lot around Japan, but I feel like this is my place. So,、yes. since you've been living here, I already、mm-hmm. see you're doing this, right?、Yes. You do know all of the rules about eating here in Japan? I think I do, but <laughs> there are always more and more rules that. You keep learning over time,、yes. so maybe I make some mistakes. I'm sorry.、Uh, you know, our viewers are very, very nice. Usually,、mm-hmm. they do give advice. Oh, okay. So, if we do something wrong, and I do stuff wrong as well, even、mm-hmm. my husband does things wrong all the time in videos, they will tell us about it and teach us. We'll do better next time. Exactly. We got our drinks. I have something with citrus, and you got an oolong tea, and also a Ume drink. Ume drink. Yes. We're gonna start with the oolong, kampai. Kampai. How do you kampai in Spanish? Ah,、uh, salud. Salud. Wow. <laughs>、oh, this is, is it nice. Very refreshing.、Mm. It's it's sweet. So、oh. I thought it would be like more like a lemon sour y、uh-huh. kind of sourness, but it's nice and sweet. Let's eat. Itadakimas. Mmm. Oh, it's really good. Super nice. I don't typically order chawamushi because it usually comes with fish shrimp or, or, yeah, yeah. or shrimp inside. And also because the first time that、uh, someone offered me, a friend offered me to try chawamushi, I knew the word mushi, so I thought it was made out of insects <laughs> <No> . inside. <laughs> so I thought,、oh, no, maybe I don't want to try chawamushi <laughs> until I understood. Oh, it's an egg pudding. Oh, okay, okay, then I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but when you don't know enough Japanese, I tend to break the words in my mind. Like ninniku, I、mm-hmm. thought it meant human, human meat. <laughs> <laughs> Until I learned it was, oh no, no, it's garlic. Ah, okay, but in my mind, it's human meat. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Super hot still. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it's, it has a very light taste.、Mm-hmm. Mochi. Oh. Mm, I love mochi. Do you like mochi?、Uh, it was an acquired taste. Yeah? At the beginning, I didn't like it, but now I'm starting to learn which ones I like better than others. So I found a shrimp in there,、okay. but I think that's the only kind of fishy thing in here. Agus, do you know what this is?、Um, I think it's chestnut? No. Ginnan. They are、ah, called ginnan. Ginko. Ginnan. From、yeah, the ginko tree. Exactly. Yes. So these are the nuts of those, and I love、mm. them. But there are many foreigners, I think, that don't like them because they are a little bit bitter.、Uh, and they are a little bit smelly as well. Yes. Yeah. So, Agus, you are vegetarian. Yes. What exactly does that mean? In Japan, it can be a little bit confusing. Usually, it means that I prefer not to eat any kind of animal meat, like、mm-hmm. beef, chicken, pork. Fish, even in Japan, that's a little bit difficult because dashi is everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At home, I usually cook with kombu dashi, for example. Okay, nice. But in the restaurants, if there's dashi, that's okay. I just prefer not to buy or support the animal business with my money. That's all. I was never a big 
meat lover, but I used to eat it when I was a child. I mean, it's Argentina. so funny, exactly. In Argentina, yes. you have like so much yes. meat everywhere. And actually, my family loves meat. Okay. I never shared that passion, so for me, the transition was easier. Okay. But it has been seven or eight years actually since I stopped eating meat. I wonder mm. what kind of a sauce that is. Some ginger or citrus sauce? Yeah, maybe something citrusy. Or I thought maybe some white miso. Maybe. Ah, I'm yes. not sure. Let's see. Mmm. Oh, it's really good. Yes, I think it's some miso. Um, the tofu is very, very creamy. It almost feels like you're eating a cheesecake. Tofu salad, huh? Nice. Super nice, very refreshing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Summer dish. Yes, I love tofu salad for the summer. It's also something so easy to make at home. You just yes. buy tofu, put it on salad, have a nice dressing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it has something crunchy on top. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Maybe nuts? you will help. Yeah, some kind of nuts. This is very like funny. The satsumaimo hair. <laughs> This is really yummy and uh, so refreshing, like you said. And I cannot tell you what the crunchy stuff is. I don't think it's nuts, actually. I think it's soybeans, roasted ah, soybeans, yes, yes, crushed yes, roasted right. soybeans. Yes. So, Agu, since you do not eat fish, mm -hmm. obviously sashimi is out for you, right? Mm -hmm. So exactly. I'm going to try this very nice looking tuna. Oh, I think it's tororo <laughs> in Yuba. So, do you like tororo? Not really. Ah. <laughs> well, it mainly tastes like the tuna mm -hmm. with soy sauce. It doesn't taste very much like tororo, so it's good. The yuba is so nice, and maybe together with the shiso, it might be nice too. I'm just too stupid to eat it. <laughs> mm. 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 Delicious. Mm. Let's, let's see what's here. Oh, what's that? Oh, I don't know. Looks like some kind of dumpling. Yep. Looks Chinese or something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tofu shumai. I don't know how to eat this. <laughs> This is definitely not good chopstick manners, but... <laughs> mm, definitely meat. Meat? Yes. White meat? Yeah, looks like it. Fish? Like, mm, might have said chicken. I'm not sure. That's like minced chicken? Unusual. I'm not sure, people. I don't know. <laughs> Mm, it's very good. It tastes very nice, but I have mm, no idea what it is. No, it says tofu shumai is a vegetarian version of the classic pork shumai. Okay, try Flavored it. Flavored and means tofu is wrapped in wonton wrappers. Yeah. Okay. It was it's not chicken. <laughs> I think I should dip it. See, I didn't do that yeah. either. I guess I'll do that. At least, um, <laughs> When we eat Chinese dumplings, we usually dip them. Mm. Is it tofu? Are you yeah. sure? <laughs> it's tofu, definitely. Wow, it's really good. But it's very flavorful, right? Yes, and also the texture, mm -hmm. it, it kind of feels like minced meat. Right, that's mm -hmm. what I thought. It's nice. Yeah, I really like it. Mm. You Speak some Japanese? A little bit. Yeah. Yes, just enough to go to a restaurant, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. But you just had a Japanese class before yes. coming here, right? I'm studying. I find the, the languages in general very interesting. I'm, I'm attracted to languages, particularly Japanese. Mm -hmm. I think it's a very nice language. But also I find it as a sign of respect towards the culture. And it makes my life easier as well, yeah, <laughs> if I can speak much. it. Yeah. Oh, I think we got more tofu. Oh, nice. Very excited. It looks so fluffy. Yes. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know how to break it. Okay, should I give it a bite? Mm. This is super nice. 
really fresh soft uva inside but very crunchy on the outside love it yes cool white miso I'm guessing. guessing. And Could this be one? yuzu actually or something. Ah, okay. Not sure. And the green one is usually what? Uh, yomogi, maybe. Ah. It's a kind of leaf. Mm. Yes, it's miso, definitely. It's very mochi mochi. Yeah? Really nice. Oh, cool. Yes. This one is a little bit citrusy. Ah, yeah, so, buddy. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, you buddy. might be right. <laughs> Same texture, very different flavor. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what the flavor is though. Does it taste green? <laughs> no, not really. It just tastes more pl on the plain side. I think my favorite is the yuba. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. This one seems to be ready and has a huge chunk of tofu. It's almost half tofu and then it's half meat. And I don't know how to get it out of there. Ooh. Oh, the broth is so nice. It has a lot of flavor. It's really good. And then Taka usually doesn't like tofu in his nabe, but I love tofu. Mm. What is she? It's so nice and creamy. So that's what I really like about this, like really hot tofu in the nabe. Yes. Mm. This is so good, but the texture is so different. Mm -hmm. We got this beautiful rice and some pickles. Mm -hmm. And then she said yuba. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, that's a lot of yuba. Yeah. Oh, and with, uh, what's it called? Yuzu. Oh, ah, yes. Oh, that smells so nice. Yeah, I like anything yuba. Me basically. too. Yuba is so nice. This one is more chewy than the yuba, the fried yuba that we had ah. earlier, but mm -hmm. really nice. And it really smells like yuzu. Nice and light soup. I love pickles. My husband always makes fun of me because he says that I like all people's food. <laughs> For example, pickles, yeah. umeboshi. Oh yeah. This rice. beautiful rice, wow. right? Mm. Super nice. Corn makes it a little bit sweet, so I really like it. In Argentina, we don't do much rice. Our rice is actually not very tasty. So I started eating rice when I came to Japan and I love it. I love Japanese rice. What about tofu? Do you have tofu in Argentina? No, not easy to find. Uh, maybe in some Asian supermarkets, like in Japanese supermarkets. Mm. Those are only in the big, big cities. Okay. So not very easy to find at all. The third time. Yes. So she says matcha ice cream. That's the perfect See? dessert, I think, for some Ooh. traditional Japanese food. Mm -hmm. Mm, very nice, very savory, that earthy yeah. matcha flavor, love it. Perfect to round up this meal. <laughs> Have you always liked matcha? In Argentina, our traditional drink is called mate. Yes. Uh, it's becoming a bit more popular in Japan now. It's very bitter, so mm -hmm. I think to me, matcha was easy to acquire because it's Slightly similar. I really enjoy matcha lattes with soy milk. Oh, nice. Also, yeah. love it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. This is perfect. And you're right, it has a lot of matcha flavor, yes. this one. Because I think it also has matcha powder on mm -hmm. top. And I'm so full. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so full. <laughs> <laughs> right? That was a lot of food. Yes. <laughs> Every dish comes with different flavors and just yeah. makes you feel different things. Loved it. My favorite was the deep fried yuba. Oh, mm. okay. For me, the first thing that came to mind was the tofu that we had at the beginning. Oh, that one was also That was good. so yes. nice and creamy. Yes. Thank you so much for joining me for lunch. Okay. That was a lot of fun. I hope we see you in the next video. Okay. Bye. Bye.